All right, just wanted to do a part two to my video exposing this group called A True Church. They're not a church, they're actually a cult, and I'm going to go over some stuff they believe and show you how they're basically a cult. I mean, they're no different than the Westboro Baptist Church or the, the Roman Catholic Church, all this other stuff that basically believe that they're the only ones that are true and everyone else is false. I mean, when you look at this A True Church website, they basically, they're, they're this, I mean, they give a bit of a background. They're a cult that was started in the 1990s. And they have about, I think I heard about 50 members or whatever. And basically, uh, just like the whole Westboro Baptist Calvinistic cult, they basically believe that their church members are the only ones that are saved and that everyone's, everyone's false except for them. They are the one true shining light that America has and that they basically know the gospel apparently that, that, that everyone else does not know. And they just condemn anybody to hell that doesn't agree with them. I mean, their leader... The guy called Darwin Fish, you know, kind of like the evolution thing and everything, but he basically will condemn anybody that doesn't agree with him 100% on every single thing he believes. And they have all kinds of weird doctrines, by the way, too. They have, just like all cults, they have a lot of weird doctrines that that, that are not found in scripture and that nobody has ever believed. I mean, I mean, for example, they think that polygamy is okay. They they condone polygamy, and they they rip verses out of context in the Old Testament where the Old Testament prophets did polygamy. And say, see, look, uh, the the prophets did polygamy, so therefore that's okay. Uh, no, it's not. Leviticus, I think it's Leviticus chapter twenty, verse fourteen, and Leviticus eighteen seventeen condemn polygamy. And and I can show you verse after verse, like Ephesians five thirty one, Genesis two, I think it's Genesis two twenty four, and there's Matthew chapter nineteen, verse I think it's four to six, and Mark chapter ten, I believe it's Mark chapter ten, verses eight to nine, it clearly says that marriage is one man and one woman, and Leviticus twenty fourteen and Leviticus eighteen seventeen condemn polygamy. And there, and again those verses I mentioned before, they say that marriage is is these two become one flesh. And another, another proof I want to give against polygamy is in Ti in Timothy first Timothy chapter three and I think it's Titus chapter, it's in the book of Titus, I don't remember the exact verse off the top of my head, uh, when it gives the qualifications for, for bishops, elders, and deacons, it says they're the husband of one wife. So if God is okay with polygamy, how come he doesn't want the, the elders and, and the deacons doing polygamy? It doesn't make any sense. God is not for polygamy. But they think that polygamy is okay. They, uh, they, they, they have all kinds of, like, I'm trying to remember what they believe. I don't I remember off the top of my head, but they believe that there are seven spirits that are God or something like that. They, they have, I mean, they're, they're very, they're very, they're very pantheistic in a lot of their beliefs. They think that like everything's God essentially. And, 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 and like I said before, if you don't agree with them on that, they'll condemn you to hell. I mean, like they have a website or a section of the website on false teachers. I mean, they go after, I mean, they've condemned Stephen Anderson, which, you know, obviously I agree he's false. But they condemn John MacArthur, who's also false. They condemn Fred Phelps, who's also false. But they condemn a lot of other people who are not false. And because they don't agree with them on certain doctrines. Because, again, this cult, like this Darwin Fish guy, if you don't agree with him 100% on his doctrines, you're on your way to hell, according to him. So it's a very cult-like mentality. Just like the Westboro Baptist Church, if you're not with them, then you're, you're hell-bound. So uh, another weird belief they have is they basically... Well, uh, they believe they reject eternal, eternal security. I went through that in my video, how they reject eternal security. They believe if you commit suicide, you'll go to hell. They are non-dispensational. They'll take verses like Matthew 20, 24, 13, you know, to prove, disprove eternal security. He that, shall, he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. You know, non-dispensational. That verse is not even written to Christians. It's written to the, the Jews in the time of Jacob's trouble. They are, they, they, again, I mentioned before, they think that polygamy is okay. They're Trinitarian. They're, they believe in the Trinity. I mean, they have all kinds of weird heresies. They, uh, what else? They, they, they think that, they, that God is the church, something like that. Like, I mean, huh? I mean, it's ridiculous. Just go on their website and search up a true church. Go on their website and just look up their doctrines. I mean, you're going to come away thinking like, what? You know, it's ridiculous. I mean, it, it's crazy. They are a cult. And again, if you if, if you don't agree with them, they'll condemn you to hell. I mean, just like all cults. I mean, just like the, and, and funny, back to the thing about polygamy, it's not, it makes sense that they, they will, that they're for polygamy because uh, the Mormon church with Joseph Smith, they're polygamists. You know, Islam with Muhammad, they're polygamists. Uh, and I, I, I'll probably guarantee you at some point the Catholic church will be polygamist too, because the Catholic church is the biggest cult in the world. But... That's besides the point. This this uh, a true church. The, you gotta watch out for them. I mean, they're essentially like the Westboro Baptist Mormons. You know, 
like a pseudo version of Westboro Baptist, Westboro Baptist Church and Mormons. I mean, they're not saved, and they again they believe in a works based salvation. They think you have to endure, you have to live holy, and everything like that. I mean, it's Roman Catholicism what they're preaching. They're teaching. I mean, it's funny they'll say that Roman they'll say that Catholic, the Catholic Church is false, but they're basically preaching what the Catholic Church believes. And they again, like just like all cults, it's like if you're not with them, you're false. You know, everyone everyone's false except for them. So, just wanted to warn you about these guys. Uh, watch out for them. Watch out for this Darwin Fish guy. Uh, Mark and avoid him. He's a false prophet and a cult leader. And, uh, yeah, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.